some of the things that are hard to put into words are some people have daily hobbies, daily habits, daily routines. I literally have daily visions. And not even just daily, all the time. Sometimes I know when the visions are completely real and I can't escape thinking them because it's a message that I'm supposed to know from nature. There's other times where I look for things from the past or from the future or from like a feeling. But then there's other times where it's more or less, I'm a, I can say right now I'm, I'm tapping into my imagination and I can imagine and create. But when I come from a place where it really happens to me, people who don't even have a daily routine of thinking for themselves can't imagine the ability to see the future, see the past, do some of the things that they wouldn't imagine true but have heard of and have been, you know, if you look it up, there'll be people who have talked about things of such nature. But when you have it happen to you and you start studying into it and practicing things that start making it happen all the time and it becomes your reality, there's no need to prove it to yourself at all. You don't ever, ever, you can't ever prove anything to yourself. It happens. Proof is internal. Think about that. You know something when you when it happens to you and you know it, when you experience it, when you are it, or when it is you finally. But I, I wish that people would understand what coming from a, a point of daily vision or visions is like. It's it's not it's magical, really. But it's not as great as it could be, I guess you can say. I don't know how else to put it. It's not. It's awesome. But it, it, there's a, a, the negative side to it is that people don't understand you and they're so confused doing whatever they're told to do or doing whatever they thought they chose to do through a life led up through uh, other things that changed their mind and led them to this that if you tell them certain things, they won't want to hear it because it'll be too hard for them to change what they've turned themselves into, what they've pre-programmed themselves into, what their human lump has become. But now they can be a human who's on the move, a human who's actually being and doing and having and experiencing, not a robot. And this is a chance for them to do that. It may be scary, and I know that because I went through it. I'm still going through it because the rest of you around me, the rest of me around me, the rest of I, is scattered out there. Like, when your body is starting to fight a disease, say your whole body is sick. When you're sick, you're sick somewhere, and that's being fought somewhere. And your body's sick, and it starts somewhere. You take you take this flu, you know, medicine or something, or else you start doing a practice of healing, and it manifests in some point of consciousness or some point of your body, and it spreads over until your body is healed. Well, the world has had that happen for quite a long time. Existence has had that happen. Everything, spirituality, the world beyond this world has had that happen for a long time. And I've appeared as the healing element. And the healing element can spread or it can be contained by the negative elements that maintain the scab. Right now we're a scab. Like look at the earth and it looks like a big blue ball with a green scab on it. The green isn't the scab, but what's on the green is keeping the green a scab. The green could flourish, and the green could be thriving and happy. But us people are doing things that make it a scab. We keep causing and, or negative things like polluting it, digging it up, being greedy, and worrying about money more than we worry about ourselves and others, our bodies, our health, our mind, our good consciousness, our well-being. Those kind of things matter so much more. And you have to know that. You know that deep down on the day when you're breathing your last breath. And you know that the moment when your body is born and you breathe your first breath. But every breath in between that, you forget about it. Let's start remembering that. So, from here on out, try that. Peace.